talking about the weather, right? The weather. We were talking about how seasons are changing. And so now I'm going to connect that with seasons are changing. So we're going to talk about the weather. And I had a few questions I wanted to ask you. How can you learn about the weather on a particular day? So what's the way we can learn about the weather? Anybody? Owen, thank you so much for raising your hand. Oh, and you can unmute yourself and answer the question. This? Yes. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Can everybody else hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, Owen, you might just have to exit. I can't hear you, miss. You cannot. Owen, you might just have to exit out of the class meeting and come back in. Okay, that looks like that's what he's doing. All right, so what, how are some ways that we can find out about the weather? So, Haiti? By looking outside. Oh my goodness, wouldn't that be the best way, right? By looking outside. How's another way you think you could find out about the weather? Elizabeth? Um, um, a calendar. What is a calendar going to tell us about the weather? No. Mm, think about how you could find out about the weather. Jaya? Um, you check on your phone at the weathercast. Okay, so you look up the weather, and a lot of time people do that on their phones, right? They've got different apps that will show them the weather. Is that what you were going to say, Jimmy? Jimmy, or do you have something else? I have something else. Okay, Jimmy, um, what would you like to I know, um, um, anyone can learn what it's like um, in the weather by being inside the weather. Okay, so kind of like what um, somebody said about going out, uh, about looking outside, but you mean actually go outside and check it out that way. Very good, right? So we can look up the weather. We can look it up on like an app on our phone. We can ask Google. We can say, hey, Google, what's the weather going to be like outside? We can, um, some people watch the TV and there's the weather forecast and the weatherman or woman on the TV says, hey, this is what the weather is going to be like today. So there's a few different ways that we can find, learn about the weather on a particular day. Um, just let's list a couple of weathers that we've experienced. We're going to go pretty quick so we can start playing our video. Otherwise, we won't have any time. What are some weathers that we've, that you guys have experienced, some types of weather? Oh, Rudy, why don't you just share a few types of weather with us? Because I know you guys have all experienced weather. Snowing. Snowing, what else? What other types of weather? You can share more, Rudy, because we're just trying to um, to speed it up so we have time to watch our video because Ms. Kennison has to go to a meeting today after this, so. Uh, okay, anybody else? You can pop on and say what kind of weather. Zahay and Jimmy? Summer. Summer is a season. What kind of weather, Jimmy? Like um, a thunderstorm. I can't see what you're doing when you do that. Like a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm? Or a, rain, or a lightning storm. Very good. And Naya, did you have something to say about weather? What kind of weather? Thunder. Thunder, so just like what Jimmy said. Um, Max, what kind of weather do you, are you thinking? Max, what kind of weather? Summer. Summer is a season. What, what kind of weather is there in summer? Sun. 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 Very good. Okay, let's watch our video about weather. Welcome to 3 2 Wonder. I'm Dr. Jeff, and today I'm gonna make a cloud. Whoa! 
Wow, that was awesome. And today, we're going to be exploring weather. Here we go. Today, we'll learn that weather tells us what the sky and air around us are like on any given day. It can be sunny, windy, cloudy, rainy, snowy, or stormy. And scientists can predict the weather by understanding patterns. Three, two, one, two. Addison, we can't understand you with that scarf over your mouth. Oh, sorry. I said hi, Dr. Jeff. Hi, EJ. Oh, oh hi. hi. I wish it wasn't so cold and windy today. Now I can't do my daily routine of running five miles. But you never ran five miles before. I know. I was going to start today. That coldness outside is called the weather. Weather tells us what the atmosphere is like on any given day. What's the atmosphere? What? I said, what's the atmosphere? Ah, the atmosphere is all the sky and air around us. I see. So today the weather outside is cold and windy. That's right. Now let's explore each type of weather one by one. It's time to go into our imagination. Follow me. Ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, there. I love my imagination. I love it too because this is sunny weather. My weather. Sunny sunny weather. Too. Now, we learned before the sun makes light. It shines on the earth during the day and warms up everything around us. Sunny weather is when the sun shines brightly. On some days, it's hard to see the sun when it's hidden behind clouds. Yep, what you're describing is cloudy weather. Clouds are made up of teeny tiny water droplets. They're so small, they can actually float in the air. When clouds block some light from the sun, we say the weather is cloudy. I'm getting sad just looking at that. To help us understand cloudy weather, we're going to make our very own cloud. To do that, we need some safety equipment. Here you go. Now, don't try this at home. This bin is filled with a very, very cold liquid. It's called liquid nitrogen. So cold, we wear special gloves. When we mix in this water, it should make tiny, tiny droplets of water, just like a cloud. Let's count it down. In three, two, one, go! Whoa! It's like being inside a cloud. Ready to move on to windy weather? Yeah! Wind is when air around us moves. Max, are you awake? Wind can bend <laughs> trees, blow papers from your hands, and it can even make clouds move. But I don't understand. Why don't we see the wind? That's a good question, Addison. Even though we can see the air, it's a gas that's all around us. Let me show you. What just happened? The air takes up all the space in the balloon. Exactly. Air is all around 
us. Let's see what happens when air moves fast. Oops. Brace yourselves. do outside on a windy day. Now it's time to explore rainy weather. You couldn't do this before. Sorry. Rain is when drops of water fall from clouds in the sky. Sometimes it rains a little bit, and other times it rains a lot. I love the rain. It makes everything feel clean and fresh. Rain is very important. It keeps trees and plants alive and provides people with fresh water that we can drink. But too much rain isn't always a good thing either. That's true, EJ. Too much rainy weather can sometimes lead to flooding or mudslides. What happens to rain when it's really cold? Let's find out. I wish I hadn't asked that question. This is it's snowy, snowy weather. weather. Remember that water can exist either as a liquid or solid, which is ice. That's right. Snow happens when rain freezes into a solid as it's falling down. Snow is made of frozen water. Dr. Jeff, can we see some weather a little less freezing? Of course. Finally, some nice calm weather. Welcome to a thunderstorm! Thunderstorms are when big clouds make thunder and lightning. Usually, a lot of rain too. Lightning is a bright flash of light in the sky. And thunder is the loud sound caused by lightning. Extreme weather like this should always be taken seriously. To keep people safe, scientists have learned how to predict storms before they happen. These experts are constantly studying the weather all around the country to detect patterns. By looking at weather patterns from the past, scientists can predict the direction that a storm will move across the country. For instance, from west to east. So scientists study all the different types of weather to find patterns. And they can use those patterns to make predictions about the kind of weather coming our way. That's exactly right. Great job. Now it's time to do it yourself. Okay, boys and girls, this is not required, but it's kind of fun. First, have an adult help you cut off the top of the bottle. Then fill up the bottom part with pebbles so that it is flat and won't fall over. You could find both of those things at your house if you chose to do this activity. Your choice. UJ, you said you had a meter stick. You could totally use that. Like this. And hold it in place with four paper clips. To use the rain gauge, just put it outside and measure how much rainwater it collects after a storm. Notice how some storms dump a lot of water, and other storms, only a little. A rain gauge is just one tool that scientists use to understand and predict the weather. Try it yourself! Oh, 
song. It's a science song. It could be sunny. It could be windy. It could be cloudy. It could be rainy. It could be stormy. Or it could be snowing. Weather is what's happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Weather is what's happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Scientists, they can predict the weather. They can do this by understanding patterns. Weather is what's happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Weather is what's happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Now, let's review. Today, we learned that weather is what's happening in the Earth's atmosphere on any given day. It can be sunny, windy, cloudy, rainy, snowing, or stormy. And scientists can predict the weather by understanding patterns. And now you know. Until next time, I'm Dr. Jeff. I'm AJ. I'm Addison. And remember, always question, always wonder. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for coming today um, and learning about the weather. Tomorrow we'll discuss that video a little bit more. We've got to get off now because I have a meeting I have to go to online um, with the other teachers. and so Or I'd, I'd stay just a few minutes longer to talk to you, but we will do that tomorrow, okay? I'm so excited. Yeah. Rudy, do you have something to share? Bye, Jimmy. Bye. 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 Bye.